Hi guys, welcome back to the Mina Does Art Stuff YouTube channel. My name is Mina and on this channel we do art stuff. So I have a very fun little unboxing here today. So I was browsing around on Etsy, as you do, late one night, couldn't sleep. <laughs> a very dangerous thing to do. <laughs> and I found myself ordering something, um, as you do. And I've been eyeing these up for a while from various different sellers. I just couldn't bring myself to justify the cost of purchasing one. Um, and then I came across this shop who is local to me as in they're based out of the UK and which was definitely a requirement considering the fragility of the item or items I've got. But um, they also had some seconds sales. So I was like, okay, great. That makes it much more affordable and it gives me a chance to try it out and see if I like it and if I really love them then I can always go back to the shop for other items in the future. So what did I get? Let's open it up and see. Comes with this cute little thank you postcard which they've written a lovely little note on and um, a little note about their, letting you know that their packaging is recyclable or compostable and um, it actually even goes into full on detail about the different items that they use for their packaging. So box or envelope is recyclable. Any A4 clear sleeves, if they use them, is compostable. Any green bubble wrap is biodegradable, recyclable. Um, yeah, so that's, um, that's great. That's actually really nice. And it's really good that they've detailed out the different items that they use in their packaging and which ones are recyclable versus compostable, etc. So this stuff, this little wood filler stuff, this is compostable. So that will go straight into our compost. So the company, I don't know if I actually mentioned it or not, the company is called Lillian May Studio. That's their... Um, that's their name, Lillian May, and it's Lillian May Studio on Instagram. And they do bespoke watercolour artwork and supplies. So, there was a little gift in my in my order, which was very unexpected, but also <laughs> greatly appreciated. It's this little brush stand, which is really cute. So, what you do, when you put it on your table, you can rest your, it's a brush rest. You can rest your brush against it, which I think is adorable. So that's the first item. Then, Item number two, this adorable palette. Look how cute that is. And it's stamped with their um, company name there, Lillian May. And the owner was really great. He emailed me after I placed my order to let me know it was on its way, etc. I'm not entirely sure what is wrong with this one. I think there's a slight rough patch here. But like I said, these are from their seconds range, so they're not to their exacting standards and they have very high standards this looks pretty perfect to me um and then second or well, third item in here is this palette it's a bit of dust from the packaging but also really cute and again there's a couple of little bumpy bits on there but perfectly usable perfectly glazed otherwise and the final thing in here is in some of their bubble wrap. Just make sure there's nothing else I'm missing. I don't think there was anything else. Nope, that's it. Let's move that out the way. It's in their green bubble wrap, which is degradable or recyclable. So that's pretty cool. And here we have a little paint palette. And this, I asked them if they could tell me what brand of paint they use to fill the palette with. And it's actually their own handmade paint, which is really exciting. They were like, they've been testing out different uh, colors and making different paints. And so they're not like completely full, but they are amazing little samples of some handmade paint. So I'm gonna be excited to try those out. I'm not entirely sure what the colors are. Um, I know there's an alizarin crimson in here an ultramarine and a burnt umber but other than that I'm not entirely sure the white as well um, but yes yeah, so that was a real bonus and so the whole set which was actually only supposed to be these three items were on sale 
for 30 pounds for the three together which is an incredible price and then they also threw in the brush stand brush rest as a bonus which i think is incredibly generous of them and completely unnecessary but greatly appreciated so i'm gonna go <laughs> change my camera battery because it is flashing at me and when we come back i'm gonna swatch out these colors we're gonna test out mixing on the palette see how that works and yeah just play around with them for a little bit i am quickly losing the light here so i'm going to try and do this quickly i'm just going to use one of the palettes today for mixing and right i've got some water this is watercolor paper so we'll just swatch straight onto here so actually where's my spray bottle? So there we go just give that a spritz and uh yeah let's give these a go i'm excited to try these out i love trying out handmade watercolors so it's always to find out that these were handmade was quite a bonus. I was not expecting that. I will of course have a link to the shop below this video if you are interested in checking them out. They are based here in the UK, so bear that in mind. So I think this one is their alizarin crimson. It's a really lovely sort of pinky red colour. And we have a violet. Oh, that's slightly off camera. There we go. And we have a green, which looks like a nice sort of earthy green. Yeah, it's a nice green colour. It's a nice sort of burnt sienna type shade. And then the burnt umber. It's a very standard sort of basic colour palette. A really useful sort of range of colours right there. They're really lovely and bright. It would be interesting to see how they dry down. Okay, and then we have some black. and white which you can't really see on this paper but it's there let's do some color mixing Okay, so I really love this set. It's so cute. And this little mixing palette is a perfect little size. Um, the two of them together would make great little mixing palettes 
for a project or especially if you're working with like a limited palette i'm really looking forward to using these paints a bit more they they are a lot of fun to work with um they're really lovely clean bright colors on their own and they mix to make more muted tones um and even mixing with white gives you some really lovely colors and they're not too muddy so they're still fairly transparent even though you've got the white mixed in so that's quite nice for getting some um nice pastels if you wanted to do that uh, but yeah, all in all, I'd say it was um, it's a really lovely set. Really good sort of standard colours. I quite like having this more sap green type colour on the palette rather than a phthalo green, which is typically what you get. Um, but yeah, because I feel like that's just a nice colour to start with. But of course, you can always mix a green quite easily from the yellow and blues. Um, but yeah, all in all, really love this set. I thought it was really good value for money really enjoyed using it and the best thing about these ceramic palettes is that they clean up super easily so I'll just grab some tissue some of these might have started drying already so I'll have to run them under the tap but they do just wipe up and clean up super super easily if I just Brilliant. There we go, good as new. Um, so yeah, absolutely love it. Definitely check them out. And um, even if they are not local to you, I would recommend checking out um, any sort of ceramic artist that makes paint palettes. Um, if you are able to support someone um, with their artwork, ooh, who produces something so beautiful, <laughs> then by all means go ahead. Like I said, up until now, it was unaffordable for me to just, well, I was unable to justify the cost of buying a ceramic palette but some like i said like this artist um the sh shop lillian may i think the owner is will he um offers seconds and so you'll you can find out like cause that made it much more affordable option for me personally um to be able to try this out and now that i've seen the quality of his work and i really enjoy this little palette and once it's used up i can fill it with my own paints which i think is really quite fun um definitely definitely would consider buying from him again in the future from his more full priced range as it were um, when I can afford to do so it's like a special treat or I can ask for someone to get me something from there for my birthday or something if that's what I wanted anyway that was a bit rambly there towards the end I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one take care